lonely piggy, unrelated, but Chicho, tell me, you were supporting the Canadians for the Stanley Cup. All of my friends were for Tampa Bay, so with their win tonight, I won't hear the end of it. I wasn't following it. I'm sorry, lonely piggy. I stopped following hockey. Not that I ever really followed it, but... Professional sports in general, I think it's gone too far. Let me tell you why. Okay. Back in the early 2000s or mid 2000s, there was a hockey strike. What year was that, Lonely Piggy? Do you know? There was one year where all the games were canceled. There was a dispute between management and the players, right? So there was no hockey that year. It's just 2004-2005. Okay, thanks, King Canada Live. Bother, bother is not the same since they started wearing helmets. Hilarious. Right, right on. Because we can hear people know their hockey. Around 2004-2005, I think, uh, lockout. Lockout, yeah, lockout or strike or something, right? Now, at the time, I had a lot of students. And there was, I had a lot of students that were into hockey. And there's a lot of hockey games. There's a hockey game every night. So I had some students that watch hockey every night. Now, during that year, I had one student that had learning disabilities or learning differences. Like really heavy, heavy, right? It was a level that I started working with them in grade eight or nine right and he was barely passing math right and most people had written him off all right by the time we were done i worked with him all the way through high school all the way to grade 12 he ended up taking i've told this story before but i'll say it again math 12 cal pre-calc 12 chemistry 12 and physics 12 got 70 80 percent in all of them and ended up going to engineering at university I'm ser talking serious learning differences, right? Like even droopy eyes, right? What changed this kid's life? And I'm not effing with you. This kid's life changed, changed. It wasn't me or it wasn't just me, right? Most of it was him, okay? But there was an event that occurred, which was the hockey lockout in 2004-2005 this kid to be uh, and a lot of kids are under pressure like a lot of boys and girls as well but they to be socially included they do what others do like in his crowd everybody was watching hockey played hockey so in his school so he did the same and a lot of other kids did the same as well right and that consumed a lot of time when that hockey strike happened, he couldn't consume hockey. The, there was no games, right? Some of the kids were going crazy. They couldn't watch hockey. I, I turned to this kid. I had a talk with him a few times. And he, man, it was he worked his ass off to learn this shit. I, whenever I have students where they complain, well, well, this is too hard, I just laugh my ass off. Because they have no idea what it means to work hard and struggle the way this kid did. No, I'm not effing with you, right? And I would have talks with him every now and then. He needed a little boost up, right? But I had a talk with him. I said, listen, just try this out one year. You can't watch hockey. You're going crazy. I'm telling you, put the time in this year. And this was in grade 10, I believe, right? Put the time in this year. Instead of effing around, I was really straight up. I'm really straight up with him. I said, instead of effing around, wasting your time you can get a handle on your life right now and be anything you want to be whatever the hell it is you want to be i don't give a rat's ass what you want to be i'm just telling you learn your math right now it's gonna be hard right check this out in grade 12 when they were in grade 12 i had a whole bunch of i had him and a whole bunch of his friends that i'd seen all the way through high school right 
And for a grade 12 test, and at the time I had a nice setup, I had a pool table in my teaching space and stuff like this, like a full blown clay pool table, right? And I was really good at pool at the time, right? And they were all going in to write a final. I can't remember if it was physics or math, right? I think it was math, pre-calc 12. And I turned to all of them. I think it was a trigonometry one. And I turned to all of them. I said this, whoever gets the highest mark in this test, I owe them a pool lesson, okay? When they graduate, and this is an open offer, and this kid hasn't taken me up on it yet, right? I said, this is an open offer. Whenever you want, if you get the highest mark in the class right or within the group right you get one pool lesson from me and i'm really damn good okay and i left at that next week they came back and this kid had the highest mark he was so damn proud and he should have been right so for any of you guys that are that you, you might be in school and you think math is hard get a f life right you have no idea what hard is unless you have some serious serious learning differences and i've had some kids who have some serious learning differences he was one of the top ones right where you have to struggle and work your ass off if this kid can do it so can you you just gotta fucking do it okay no excuses no victims here the, the world doesn't give a rat's ass about you if you think you're you deserve something or the world should take it easy on you right learn your damn math i want a little preachy there but it needed to be done okay needed to be done 